Well, I emailed you originally about just how to do better in college, I guess, with the scheduling and everything. And okay, and I cussed you out to go look at all the other videos, right? Yeah. Okay. And so I, I watched the rest of them. Okay. Where are you at right now? I'm in my room. I'm in my house. Okay. All right. So, so what's your question? I want to, I'm trying to figure out how to just get straight A's because I did really well in high school, but I didn't necessarily try. I didn't have to try. Um, and where are you at right now? You're in college? Yeah, I'm in college. So I'm a freshman, but I have about 36 credits from high school. Okay. So, so I've been you- taking college classes since junior year, but the workload, the workload just started picking up and I work almost full time right now. I work about 28 hours a week. So I'm just not sure. You're how what? You- so I work for a biotech startup. Um, we do COVID what? testing. A biotech startup. We okay. do COVID testing, but we also do like other types of viral testing. So I work typically Sunday through Wednesday right now. Okay. Do you have do you have ownership in this company? No. Are you working there to get ownership? No. I, I just work there to uh, pay for school. Okay. Do you have to work there to pay for school? Um. The wage is about twice of what I would make anywhere else. Okay, so here's my point, right? I'm not real big on kids working and going to college. Mm -hmm. And then talking to me about getting straight A's because it's really hard to work and get straight A's, right? And so you say in 27 hours a week, I would first thing I would tell you is you can apply that 27 hours a week to college, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. What you majoring in? I'm majoring in uh, computer science. Okay, computer science. Have you been programming? This whole time coming up? Yeah. So I started programming, I want to say sophomore year of high school. Okay. I started um, programming seventh grade. So, like, I didn't see nothing new in college. Nothing. I learned mm-hmm. binary source search, search trees. That was the coolest thing I learned. Okay. Um, I would just say this. Like, it's hard to get straight A's. Uh, when you work at 27 hours a week. Because the first thing I would tell you is you need to study probably 40 hours a week to get straight A's in college. Mm-hmm. You ain't got enough time in, on a calendar to do 27 hours at work, 40 hours of studying, and then go to class for 15 hours. Yeah. Okay? So you got to ask some questions. You know, do you really want to get straight A's, be a great student, or do you want to work and afford school and pay for school? Where are you going to school at? I'm currently, I'm, I'm going to the community college. It's a Northern Virginia community college currently, but um, yeah. grants, I'm in a program where you get guaranteed admission to any of the state schools. Okay. As long as you get above a 3.0. Okay. So, right, so, so right you, better, you better make sure you have above a 3.0, right? Yeah, I have, I have a 3.5, I want to say right now. Okay. So um, my first thing would be that job ain't that important if you're going to go to UVA and gra- graduate. Where are you going to go to school? In state. Um, I was accepted to tech last year. So I have a, I have a deferred admission there right now. Okay. So tech ain't a bad school. Yeah. Or, or I can go to George Mason or UVA, but I don't, UVA doesn't do guaranteed admission into the program. Okay. So um, go to tech. Tech got a good uh, computer science degree. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm just concerned about the, if I drop the work, then what about like college loans? Bro, that's, that's not my concern, right? Mm-hmm. Like there's a bunch of programs you 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 heard of the new pot program with the, with the Navy? Is that NROTC or no? It's it... the nuclear power program, where you go into nuclear power field after you get done. They pay you thirty five hundred dollars a month. Oh, you did a video on that. I think I watched. Yeah, part of it. I didn't they pay you thirty five hundred dollars a month. You got to give them five years. That's not bad. Yeah, thirty five hundred dollars a month probably. Close to what you're making right now, right? Um, I was working full time in the fall. I think I was netting about um a little over four grand a month. Okay, so you're making more in your current job. Yeah, I mean, if I if I were to work full time, yeah, I get a lot yeah. of overtime. Okay, so then you got to make a determination. You know, you got to get above a three O. I'm not down on student loans. Um. I'm just trying to think. There's, there's really National Guard has a couple officer programs where they pay for college, but 
you know, unless you're doing ROTC, which I'm not down on ROTC at all, it's just hard to get into. Mm-hmm. Especially once you already started college um, and they don't do community college or ROTC. So you might be able to apply for a community or a ROTC scholarship for the last two years of college, which I always say is a positive because going in the military for four years after college is awesome. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So you say drop the drop the hours or drop the job, basically. How many hours are you taking right now? I was so I was in sixteen. Um, I dropped one of the classes because I didn't do too well in Calc One over the summer. I took in six weeks and it didn't it didn't go too well. I passed Calc it. Calc One is the easiest class in the world, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, not, take, you didn't take calculus in high school. No, I didn't take calculus. Well, I was I was dual enrolled at the time, but I took it in May. So I took it like mid May to end of June. Calc one is the easiest class in the world. Derivative of two x. Mm-hmm. Like all you got to learn is the, the derivative shorthand, and it applies to all the limits in calculus one. It's easy. Calc one. I took calc one yeah. test in like fifteen minutes in college. Yeah, yeah. So, it, so it, you got to get ahead a little bit. You, I take it you don't do Khan Academy or anything like that to prepare for your classes. No, I do. What I do is I do Khan Academy, and I watch uh, my professor makes YouTube videos, and then I watch uh, the organic chemistry tutor on YouTube. Yep. Um. Yeah. I just I I didn't. I, I just didn't, I don't know if it was, I just wasn't, I didn't adjust to the workload. I, I was studying, but I, yeah, I that's what the first That's what the first year of real college looked like. Yeah. I know a dude with a 1600 SAT score and a 4.0 who had a one, two after his first semester at the Naval Academy because he validated the first 60 year, 60 hours of credits. So he started off college as a true freshman in junior classes and had a one, two. Jeez. Now that quickly changed, but I'm just telling you, like, that dude's one of the smartest people I know and had a 1.2 for a semester. So understand that what you're going through ain't nothing new. Mm-hmm. Good. What else you got? Um, is it, is it, would you not advise take, if, if I, if I just drop work entirely and take loans, is it unadvisable just to, because I, I think I can finish. I think I can finish school a year and a half early. I think I can finish in. You talking about normal college? Like when you go to. Yeah, normal college. Because I I think I have the degree is 123 credits. I have 36. Um, I've been taking classes over the summer or last summer. I took classes over the summer. Um, I think I can finish before the end of 2023. Would you just say, is it just smarter just to take the loans and finish the degree in fewer time? I would just tell you this. Apply for RTC scholarship to cover those last two years. Mm-hmm. Then you don't have to worry about it, right? Because yeah. you're not going to have the same job anyway because you can't – can you work from home at your job? Uh, not really. Yeah, that's no. what I'm saying. So when you go to tech, you ain't going to be able to do your job anyway. Yeah. So why don't yeah. you just apply for RTC scholarship now? The last two years, I don't know how that works, the two-year RTC scholarship, and see what happens. Mm-hmm. And then you go in the Army for two years. What do you want to serve? Like, what, you talking about going to the military afterwards? Um, I'm, I haven't made up my mind. I had looked into it originally, okay. um, but I didn't apply for, I, I know you have to apply for an ROTC scholarship. I think it's like a year out. Right. So That's I didn't I'm apply. Saying. Like you could apply right now. Cause you're going to be done in about end of this year. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You may be done this summer. So pull up the ROTC two year application. I bet you it's still open right now, at least mm-hmm. for another couple of weeks and bang it out. Yeah, and then do the two years. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm not trying to push you in the military, but like you got to give something to get something. Yeah. If you don't want to pay for school, then someone got to pay for school. You want to give them some time. Okay. If you want great grades, you can't go to work every day. So yeah. you know, unless you're a flat out genius, and you just told me you ain't a genius, so you got to work hard. You got to learn how to work. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I I say I make the argument all the time, like. I took senior chemistry and physics my sophomore year as, as my freshman year in high school. Mm. Sophomore year of high school, okay? I got better grades than most of the seniors did in the class because I was a math and science wizard. When I got to college, I had taken chemistry three times. I didn't do nothing in chemistry, okay? I didn't do nothing in calculus until third, calc three. Um, mm. Physics, same thing. I didn't do nothing in physics until op- optic focuses and stuff like that. And I just didn't learn it, and I, I struggled through the second semester of physics. Mm-hmm. Okay. So 
you're gonna have to work. You have to learn how to work, but that's part of college. That's what college is there for. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else you got? Um. Well, if I if if I didn't want to go into the military after college, what would you recommend? I had a recommendation for you. I just told you, right? Mm-hmm. You either got to work and have worse grades or mm-hmm. don't work and have good grades and then get a good job and pay off your student loans. Yeah. I uh, mean, is there a benefit to, is there a benefit to having, if my GP, if, if I can maintain a three, six to three, eight, is there a benefit in having like a four O as opposed to three, three, six to three, eight? I will say this, the best grades are going to get the best jobs out of college. Mm-hmm. Unless you know somebody. And I don't know if you know anybody. I don't know what your background is, right? I don't know what your parents do. I don't know any of that. But I know this. Like, your first job is the hardest job to get out of college. It's almost impossible. People don't understand that. It's hard. So you Mm -hmm. better have the best grades. You better have some other stuff. And you better know some people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I I don't have no advice for you, bud. Like, I went to the Naval Academy because I couldn't pay for school. I stayed at the Naval Academy because I couldn't pay for school. So I stayed there. I gave them their time afterwards. I probably would have gave them a whole career if my stuff had went different. But, like, at the end of the day, like, that's it. You know, you got you got to give something to get something, man. Yeah. Uh, you got yeah. anything else, Mike? Well, I'm just – I'm thinking because I have enough to pay for uh, through junior year of college without loans. If I, if I, if I stay local – so it, it's it really comes down to like I'm paying another. I I it, I think uh, if you graduated from George Mason, is that what you're saying? Yeah, if I go to well, if I if I go to George Mason, um, George Mason costs about fourteen a year, um, and I can pay for the first year. So I pay for everything through junior year. So I don't have. So you 14 have fourteen thousand in loans, bro. You pay that off in one year with a good job. Yeah, but you gotta get A's, brother. Mm-hmm. All so right, man. Tough. You got some decisions to make. I can't help you with them decisions because they life decisions. Mm-hmm. Make sense? Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. I just know this: you can't work a full time job and get straight A's when you not you working twenty seven hours right now and you not getting straight A's. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not saying straight A's is the answer, but the higher the GPA, the better the job out the gate. Mm-hmm. All right, brother. You got anything else for me? No, I don't. I appreciate it. Deuces. All right. Thank you. <laughs>